Okay, I'm going to write a program. It will pick random numbers, um, insert them into an array, insert them in, into an array, and then I'm going to run through that array and check which one is the smallest and then display the smallest number. Okay, so I declare the array number, four spaces, type is integer, then the form creates. I'm going to clear the rich edit. I'm going to start populating it with random numbers, one, two, three, four, and I will be displaying it in my rich edit. And then when I click on button one, I am going to assign uh, the first one in my array to i small. Okay, just to give i small a default value to start testing with. Okay, so you, can't, you can maybe give it something like 100 or 200, but if that number was actually, if these numbers were bigger than the one, let's say we make it 1,000, and you say i small, it says the starting value is 100, then it might pick a random number bigger than the 100, and then it, this algorithm will actually not work. So the safest way is just assign the first one to i small, and give i pause the default um, value of 1, then you can start running through the whole array, starting with the first one and ending with the last one. Okay, so it's basically like when you have to search for somebody in the class, or not search, but you want to see who's the smallest person in the class, you will take this, um, you will start, your eyes will start with the first one in the class, compare it to eyes small, then if, it's, if that person is smaller than the current one is, that is the smallest, then you will put that person into I small. Then you go to the next one. If he's smaller, you might put him in. If he's not smaller, you will skip this process. You will continue doing this until you reach the end of the array or the end of the class, the last person in the class, and then you will know who is actually the smallest one. Okay, another thing we are actually saving here is the smallest person, the value, and we are actually the position of where that person may be seated, or in this occasion, uh, the position where we found the smallest number. So if the smallest number was found at position 2, I'm going to put i, uh, i plus equals to 2. My phone creates going to pick the random numbers for us, and then when I click on button one, it will sign i small to array number one and start running through the array to find the smallest one. Okay, so when I click here, it will start over here. It's going to say small is equals to, it's going to say small is equals to 721, and then you will start comparing. I small is equal if I small is bigger than 27, uh, 721, which is the same. So it's not going to go in and make these changes. Is 125 smaller than the 721, which is actually in the value I small at the moment. And yes, 125 is smaller. So it will say that the new smallest one is 125. And that is currently in position number two. Is 531 smaller? No. Is 350 smaller? No. So the current value in I small will be 125 and it will be allocated in position two. Okay, so we can actually, if you want to make sure that you don't need to start with the first one, you can start off with the second one because you know the first one will be um, the same as I small because you assigned it to I small. Um, if you want to make the same algorithm, but maybe find the biggest one, then you can just change that over there. Then it will get you the biggest number in the array. So it's the same algorithm, just a small change, so you can get smallest and the biggest value. 